welcome to my site code diaries your ultimate guide to digital experience excellence your go-to channel for all the things in sitecore and net i'm your host jitendra ghanekar i'm in sitecore technology mvp 2024 this is the video from the sitecore sxs series we are going to see a demo of a rendering variant so what's inside so we will have a demo of sx rendering variant so be, but before this uh, video if you have not watched our previous video i will recommend you to watch that video where i have explained what is rendering what is rendering variant and how we use it okay and in this video i am we i am going to uh, demo you how uh, we can create a, a simple rendering variant for a promo component okay or promo rendering so if you have not watched that vi previous video please watch that video first and then come back to this video before moving i will give you few seconds to click on a like button if you like this video please do click on the like button and uh, upload this video or uh, you can share this complete xx series with your friends and colleagues who want to understand the xx and if you are new to the channel and not subscribed to the channel so then please click on a subscribe button and click on that uh, notification bell to get a latest update all right let's start today's demo i have logged in in my site code site code cms okay and this is the structure of my website on my home page i have added the uh, promo component okay if you see here there is a image uh, this is a default version okay so this is a image and you have a sxa as a title and here a link okay if you see a variant is default and there is no any other variant okay for this promo component so this is the default view of it okay and my page also look like this you see the website it is just a image and uh, the title and the click to explore and the image is too big here okay so now let's create the new variant for this promo component for this as i mentioned in the last video we have to go to the presentation then uh, rendering variant then we have to find our component here promo and it has a one default variant okay now as a practice you can just right click and duplicate it but for the demo purpose i'm uh, following all the steps okay so i selected the promo component right click insert and i'm adding variant definition okay so i'm clicking variant definition i'm naming it as a small image with description okay i'm giving the variant name as a small image with the description okay now right click insert how i want to design a page okay in the this if i insert it i have so many things so what i want to do is i want to just design it like this where uh, i want to create the uh, the icon image small and then i want to add the uh, along with the promo text i want to add the description okay so if i go back again here i'm just saving it i'm going back to my home page okay and uh, maybe x the let me go to the experience editor let me see what is the data source here okay so okay so data source is brand asia india data promo promos okay so let's go data promos okay so this is the promo so what is the template here if you see expensive accelerator page content let's see the promo okay and now if you see here you have a promo text field promo icon field which we are using 
for the default one but there are additional failure promo text 2 promo text 3 promo icon 2 okay so let's utilize one of the one of the text rich text for the description okay so if i come here i have a text image link and text to so i will use this text to i already filled some data here so i can use this as a description for me. okay so the field is already there so i do not have to add additional field for the description okay so now i am uh, coming back again to the promo text okay now this default how it is designed i want similar kind of a structure so let's add it first the default structure and then we will make a changes okay so insert first is field okay and i am naming it is as a promo icon okay okay so <coughs> now this is these are the things which you can add in the field tag so i want in the d only field name okay so i have to give the same field name what it is having here see promo icon okay so i will give the same here also promo icon okay i don't have any other field i don't want to apply any css okay let me see what it is has okay we are going to apply the css but later okay first let's try to duplicate the structure okay you can simply duplicate also but for demo purpose i'm showing what are the things which you might need to do okay okay let me add the same structure let me copy directly this fields okay copying copy to all image with description so i got promo text promo body promo text promo link field also has come yeah so if you want to add it manually then you have to go right insert and section and then add all the things okay i'm just showing you how quickly you can use the copy to functionality now everything is there if you see all the things are there okay now let's see if the our uh, rendering variant works first of all okay so So first of all, I have created this small image with the description uh, as a variant. Then we have added the structure here. Now the structure is the same as the default one. So just we wanted to see whether it is working on the uh, our experience editor or not. Before that, I have to just publish it. I just publish it and open the experience editor. Okay, let me go to the home page. and open the experience editor if i select the component and now in variant you will see small image with description so i'm just selecting this it should behave as the same okay it should work as the same so i just publish it and let me see if my page box okay i refresh it and this is the second variant it is working now we will make some changes first of all we will what we will do is we will make this image small okay for that i have already created one class so let me go to the desktop and then promo promo image with description this promo icon i am adding a class here how to add the class that we will have a separate video okay i have cre already created one class and uh, name is a, a small image have an image okay so i have applied the class here for promo icon let me save it we go to the experience editor control f i c the class has applied and it has become small so now i've just published it close i'm just going in yeah 
see the my image has become small okay so this is my second variant so if you go here and check the variant it is small image with description okay so if i change the default one again the image will become big so just try it see this okay so this is the image variant now let's add the description also so where we want the description we want a description after promote x okay so i will right click insert and field so i will give name as a promo description save okay so let's find out the uh, field name now okay so again we will go back to the data source here the template and we want to use this one promo2 because promo text is already used so promo2 okay again going back on my promo description giving the field as promo description if you want to change anything like you and don't want it in the div you want something else then you can do that but i'm just keeping the same thing here okay so text to text will come in the description i'm just saving it in back here control f5 reload see here the description has come okay but it has come before the your title so let's go here see this you have added above now i'm just moving that down okay another thing is i want this promo text should be h1 so do you and selecting h1 save and now let's see control f5 F5. See the H1 tag has come here. The text, uh, the description has come here, and the link is there. So let me publish this, and let's check out our website. So here, if I come again, I'm doing a Control F5, refreshing everything. So SXA, the heading is come. If I inspect it. You will find this is the H1. Okay. If I inspect this image, you will find the small image class is added here. Okay. This how to add the class that we will see later. Okay. But that class is get applied. So now you have this promo. Okay. Now let me go again here. Let me add. let me add another promo here promo component select <coughs> using the same uh, data source okay and i am keeping the default uh, as a variant and i am saving it in, and i am publishing it Okay, now if you see the live site, okay, if you see here the difference, the first promo component is a newly created version and another, the second one is the default one. So these are the two variant, okay. So this is how you can build your uh, uh, the components variant, okay, so that you can utilize that as per your requirement just to uh, summarize what are the things which we have done for the va variant so first of all we have decided to create the variant of a uh, promo component so we have added the uh, pro variant definition that is your this small image with this description okay we have not made any changes but here you can made a changes so you can make a changes right if whatever the uh, templates which you want to add you can add it here you can fill use as a link target that you can define you can define the compatible rendering you can define your css class item css class 
okay and also in the appearance you have a thumbnail here see this thumbnail so you can add the thumbnail also okay so all those things are explained in my last video so you can have a, a look on look on the last video to understand all these fields so basically we have created the variant definition inside that we have added the field okay we have added the sections here and from uh, promo body so we have added two field here promo text and promo description the promo description was not there in the default so we utilize that and we have seen that promo uh, promo uh, template has some additional field we have utilized those additional field for the promo description okay so we have used the uh, promo text to field for the uh, dis uh, using the description okay and then we published it and when we add it on expense editor there was an option to select the variant so for first component we have selected the newly created variant and where a second component we have added the default one all right so we are done for today so in this video we had a demo about a uh, sxa rendering variants so how we can utilize the sxa rendering variant uh, before that video we have explained what is a rendering variant so we will so you can you can watch both those videos and we will understand that what is sxa rendering variant if you like the video please click on a like button and do share this with your friends and colleagues do provide your feedback via the comment and you can provide me the topics which you want to cover in this series success series if you are not subscribed to the channel yet so please do consider subscribing to the channel and hit on the notification bell to get a latest update thank you thanks for watching